Hi, I'm Stephen Power. I'm a photographer and teacher based on Valencia in County Kerry, Ireland. Welcome to my series of teaching videos. This one is about the best ways to convert color images to black and white using Adobe Lightroom Classic 2020. Hi, and thank you very much for your support for my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with more videos. This one is about what I consider to be the best way to convert color images to black and white using Adobe Lightroom Classic 2020. I'll show you first of all a quick and easy way to do it and then I'll show you a way that gives you more control over the image. And in fact that method has two variations. One gives you even more control than the second. So let's get started. We're in the develop module of Adobe Lightroom Classic and we can see that over on the left uh, hand column we've got the presets panel. Adobe has given us a range of black and white presets here. So these are um, ready-made changes to the image which will convert it to black and white in various ways and you can actually buy those presets online or get them free as well if you want. Um, I rarely use them uh, as the finished product and might make some changes in the basic panel as well but they're a good starting point. So for example we've got the black and white landscape preset, the high contrast black and white black and white punch which is quite nice for this particular image and do bear in mind that the, it will depend a lot on the image that you start with in terms of um, the the effect that you get you've got the low contrast uh, black and white the flat black and white and so on really soft infrared's quite nice for this particular shot so you know you can start there, you can just choose a preset, sepia tone, for example, the split tone. Use it if you like, um, or make some changes in the basic uh, panel. But we're not going to use that one today. Um, in fact, I'll get rid of that column so we can see the image a bit more clearly. Now, so we're, we're still in the develop panel. Um, and I've reset the image to colour. If we look at the top of the basic panel, we'll see the treatment uh, control. At the moment, it basically tells us we've clicked colour, so we're using a colour image. And then if we simply click black and white, it will convert that colour image into a black and white image. And that, as a starting point, isn't actually too bad at all. It's got a nice range of tones and contrast in it. But this very much depends on where you start with the colour image. So it's really important to make all the necessary changes in terms of the exposure and the highlights and the shadows and the contrast um, before you start converting the image. Um, see my other video tutorials for um, hints and tips uh, and guidance on how to do that. So let's assume you've got the image uh, prepared, we've converted it to black and white and then now we just want to adjust those tones if necessary. So if we come down underneath the tone curve panel, we'll see a panel now that says black and white. This is actually the hue saturation panel when you've selected the color treatment. But when we select black and white, that changes to black and white and we get a, a range of sliders uh, for the tones. I'll zero all of those out. And 
And so this is basically the image that we're starting with. Now, it's a really good idea um, to select the before and after uh, preview button um, at the bottom of the develop module here. It says YY on it. Um, and why we do that is because it will give us the original color image in the, the uh, before panel and the black and white image that we're working on in the after panel. So when we're moving these sliders, for example, the red slider or the orange or whatever, um, we can look at the original image to see where those colors are in it so we know what we're actually changing. So there's a, there's a fair amount of blue and green and some browns and oranges in this picture. So we'll concentrate on those sliders. Um, let's start with the blue. So let's take the blue slider, um, move it to the right. So we're increasing the blue tone, making it brighter. So if we look at the, the blues, we look at the, the framework of the cart here. Uh, we can see that going brighter and darker. And we'll select a tone that looks about right for us. Um, there. Okay. And then we take the green slider. So we're going to be altering the grass. I quite like the idea of getting the grass lighter here. Of course, how you finish this image is entirely up to you. It's your picture after all. Um, probably what you don't want to do is make any tone go too dark, too dense, so you can't see detail in it, or too bright so it looks like a um, piece of white paper or something. So moving the greens until they look about right. Might try the oranges. We can see that interestingly, this, well, you can see in the colour picture, there's some orange and brown colour on the tyre. Um, and some in the wood as well, and the sky, and that's all been affected by the same slider. You know, for me, that, that's enough. There's strong contrast in it. The tones have been brought out quite well. I'll reset that and show you a slightly finer way of adjusting the image. So I've selected a different photograph this time. I'm going to zero out all the changes um, to that. And we're, so we're still in the black and white panel. But this time, instead of moving the sliders, we're going to select this circle with the two up and down arrows, used to be known as the targeted adjustment tool just to the left of the panel. If we click that and then bring it over into the photograph, we don't necessarily have to look at the um, before color image now. So we can perhaps take that off. And we're just working with the black and white image. So we've got the targeted adjustment tool and I'm dragging down on the tone that I want to change. But it's very important to keep in mind, as before, that this could also change other tones in the image. If I want to make it darker, I drag down. If I want to make it lighter, I push up. And that's giving a lot of fine adjustment to the image. It's important to bear in mind that when you adjust the tone, there may be more of it elsewhere in the picture. So keep an eye on that. Also, if you are adjusting a particular color, there may be changes to other colors that are similar to it in the spectrum at the same time. So actually there we've got the yellows and the oranges moving down together, um, even though I'm clicking on this white area. And so that's it. 
um, to me, this is the most control you'll get over converting your black and white images. And um, I hope that was helpful for you. See you next time.